Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking on the workshop. However, this time I'm actually going to be searching for myself. So let's get to it. All right guys, so what I mean is we're gonna go on the workshop here and I'm actually just gonna type in my name and enter, here we go, and see what we can find. All right, so it kind of just looks like a bunch of builds inspired by previous videos that we have done. And obviously some of these builds are actually mine. So this is from my Operation Mango video. Yes, I have uploaded some of my builds. I probably should get into the habit of uploading more of my builds, but uh, you know what? I am very clumsy and I just forget. So we only have about three pages here, but yeah, let's download some of this and test it out. All right, so we have the F-22 spec up cyber fighter elite which is by cyber safety based on uzi's fighter in the storm video so i used a fighter that is similar looking to this versus storm and his like um weapon jamming aircraft and i can actually compare them really quick so here's the one that cyber made wow okay this is pretty cool that's actually quite accurate it's actually double the size i think there you go so i'll pull out my original one and you can see just by him watching the video he's done a pretty good job at like replicating this build i'm pretty impressed all right so let's just try it out let's go all right shift is to use the booster space is the rest of the oh <laughs> okay come on can we get out of the yes there we go that's the shoot q and e is oh you can aim the weapons back that's different that's a very interesting concept right there wow but yeah this is a pretty cool jet dude very accurate to my build I'm very impressed, Cyber. You did a good job here. Being able to tilt these weapons back here gives me a really good idea for a video. Question is, can it land like my jet? And what I mean by that is when I land, it breaks apart instantly. Oh, okay. I completely... <laughs> oh, no. But yes, it did break on impact. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one I want to check out here. So these are both by Killer Bunny. Um, it's a Uzi inspired thrust vectoring swept wing jet V 2.0 by Killer Bunny. Really agile and maneuverable jet. That's awesome in dogfighting. All right, so let's pull out Killer Bunnies. There we go. And yes, that is pretty cool. <laughs> I like the decal work on this one. Shift is to sweep the wings back. It's a more steeper angle than my original one. And the weapons actually fold out as well with the wings so before i take off in this thing let me show you my original and yeah so the difference here is i have the one minigun underneath um my wings don't actually sweep like all the way back as much as his let me let me go on his for example there you go but again with a tail design like very similar i love how like close you guys are getting to building my build it's it's really cool actually but yes killer bunny let's try out your version of my sweep wing jet so it takes off. I know Q here is like a trim. Put shift in. The wings are swept. That feels pretty maneuverable, actually. All right, it's got some assistance from helicopter engines, I think, with the roll. Oh, you know what? It actually does have a minigun underneath. I never noticed. <laughs> That's so sick. Got the assist from the trim. And yeah, it feels really smooth. In fact, look at that. Look at that turn speed. <laughs> Whoa. Uh oh, oh, I put myself... Yeah, okay. <laughs> and I should probably check out the first person, right? Yes! Look, that is basically the same. It, it looks exactly the same as my jet. <laughs> I'm super impressed. All right, what else can we find on this amazing workshop? We have some stealth drives here uh, for UZ. A sentient paperclip. No description. I'm pretty sure this is some kind of stealth drive. Let's just test it out. It's for me, so who knows what to expect. Okay, so what is going on? So if I press space, nothing happens. But if I press left on the mouse, it pushes me into the anchor pins huh i'm very confused uh i have no idea what this is supposed to do is it supposed to be like one of those cool like sonic boom seats because if it is it's not working <laughs> well there's anchor pins on the bottom so let me delete the anchor pins like i said there is no description on this so i actually don't know what it's supposed to do here we go what is happening Dude, I don't know what you're trying to get me to do here, paperclip, but this is wild. You have made a break dancing armor seat. Cool, thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's check out the zero power cores by Christy. 
So, from Christie, inspired from the Da Vinci Battle by Yuzi, yes. And this is this person's take on Zero Power Cores. So they're actually doing a prop idea here with some heli blades. All right, okay. So yeah, it's it's a it's a glidey prop plane powered by Zero Power Cores because that large servo actually doesn't have any power cores in it. It's a mechanical piece. And I think this rear spinny part is like the counter talk. <laughs> That's pretty elegant. Flies very smooth. And it, I like how silent it is, you know? It's very quiet. If I stop the engine here, we can just glide in the wind. And god damn, it is so peaceful. <laughs> Doesn't even look like I'm moving. All right, full speed ahead. This is my max power, guys. We actually broke 50 miles per hour there. Can I land? Oh, I broke it. And we are upside down. Well, pretty cool Zero Power Core inspired build there, Chris G. Very nice. All right, so this is another one I want to check out. It's an Apache inspired by Yuzi by Joshua Freex. All right, it looks like pretty standard controls. Okay, let's let's see this one, Josh. An Apache, apparently inspired by me. But yeah, it flies pretty smooth. Both the rockets and the smart cannon there are on the same keybind. Q and E. Oh, that's my yaw. <laughs> Look at that. That's sick. You know what? This feels very, very smooth. I like it. So smooth, in fact, I am confident that I'll be able to fly through the aircraft carrier here. Easy now. Easy now. Don't touch anything. Oh, it's a... Okay, that's me. We're good. We're good. Oh my god, I'm doing it. Guys, I'm actually doing it. Holy smokes. Yes, we actually just flew through that. Wow. Very, very cool indeed there, Joshua. Thank you for that. That was a nice treat. Okay, so this one I'm interested in. It's actually the biplane from my little animated intro. This one's by Trix429. This is the biplane from Yuzi's intro. It flies pretty well. It doesn't have ailerons, but it doesn't need them. Enjoy. It doesn't have aileron. Okay, so I'm assuming you just have to lean. This is actually pretty cute. <laughs> All right, here I go. Taking off. Oh, dude, that is very smooth. I'm only holding space right now. Look, one hand and it is gliding. I can just correct it a little bit. What does Q do? Ah, Q is like a little bit of lift there from those flaps. <laughs> I really like this. This is pretty cool. Look, guys, I'm doing my intro. <laughs> I just need like the smoke to come out of the back of the biplane now and put my name in the clouds. <laughs> The question is, can I fly through the ring of fire? Looks like I can. This is promising. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy, not even a challenge. This thing is so like easy to control. I can I can probably just land it inside the BattleBot arena here. There we go. Cut the power. Oh! Oh! Butter on the bread. <laughs> that was very smooth. Oh, guys, there's so many, like, builds inspired here. And this one looks pretty unique. The F122345 stub by ADK Peach. We're just going to call you Peach from now on. It is a fictional aircraft based off the UZ-1 jet turbine video. Control WSD, I left mouse button. Okay, cool. So again, this is from the video I did where we did the dog fights uh, with just the one large jet as the restriction. Okay, arrow keys... Whoa, we have some cool, like, ski landing gear. Oh, wow. I, did you see that? I pressed I and, like, the tail went down. All right, I've just headed over to the aircraft carrier again because it's easier to take off. So, I don't know if you saw this, guys, but when I press I, look at the tail here. It folds down, and I think that's what it's supposed to look like. Space is to go. We got the engines going. I like how there's like a little friction pad here at the end to slow me down when landing. The tail hook, you might say. And it's got its two mini guns on the tails, which is cool. It's got some canards. But as you can see, it's not actually using the one jet engine. It's actually using some assistance from two dragon jets at the back as well. So technically, this would be breaking the rules in that video, but we're not in that video this is just an inspired build and you know what i think it is super cool so cool in fact i think i can land this on the aircraft carrier i've got my landing gear down now now we just need to glide down onto the onto the carrier easy easy oh too hard oh <laughs> okay that wasn't as smooth as i would have imagined 
Okay, so this is one I want to take a look at really quick. The Flying Aircraft Carrier 2.0 by Alexander7777. <laughs> Inspired by Scrapman's video, can we land a jet on the flying aircraft? Oh, he's, he's left the, the links here. Yuzi built the plane in the video. Wow, look at all these links. Cool. Oh my god, this thing actually needs the complexity mod. It's that big. All right, we have the complexity mod on. I can finally spawn this in. Very big fuselage indeed. We actually have some weapons on this as well, so it's weaponized. And there is eight large jet engines on here. Wow. Just for some context here, guys, this is my original one. Yeah, my runway is a little bit more lengthy, but for a flying runway inspired by the video, that's pretty sweet. Let's give it a test. All right, here we go. I'm ta oh, 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 whoa, whoa. It seems like the controls on this aircraft is actually inverted, and hopefully I can fly this thing. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, there we go. Nice, we did it. <laughs> This is actually very nice, Alexander. Oh, that's... That's me getting confused over the controls again. But yeah, it seems like it flies very well. Another cool inspired build from one of the videos. This one's by Original Icarus. This takes inspiration from Yuzi's plane in Scrapman's video landing a submersible plane on a submersible aircraft carrier. There we go. There she is. The little Manta plane. This one's actually weaponized too. We got flaps. Uh, and we can go shift. I don't know what shift is supposed to be, but let's just go anyway. <laughs> so this aircraft is actually inspired by like a manta ray you find in the sea. Oh, okay. I've oversteered right here. Come on. Can we still go? Oh, this guy, this this is fine. We, we can go in the water too. It's also a sub. That is different to my original one. Mine was not a sub. But yes, it pretty much is what it is. It's meant to land on a submersible aircraft carrier. And this design is a very unique take on it. All in all, another cool build there by Icarus. Thank you for that. Awesome. Well, guys, it is pretty cool to see that if I type my name on the Trailmakers Workshop, I will find some pretty cool inspired builds from most of the videos on the channel. Just goes to show how much like you guys enjoy the content that you're willing to spend your time building something inspired from a video. That to me just blows my mind. And this also gets me thinking like I could probably host my own build competitions, you know, like get you guys to engage on the workshop for a cool video idea. Let me know if you want to see anything like that in the comments down below, guys. But anyway, if you like this video, leave a like and why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.